What's up guys, I'm Puni from Programmers and welcome back to this series on JavaScript. In this video, we will learn about the Boolean data type which allows us to store true and false. Then we will learn about comparison and logical operators which are used in decision making in programming. Let's get started. Basically, Booleans are data types like numbers and strings. One interesting thing about Boolean is that it can be of two values, either true or false. Let me give you a quick example. In my code editor, I'll create two variables, value one and value two, and assign them Boolean values of true and false respectively. So I can say let value one equals true and let value two equals false. Now let me print these variables. So I'll say console.log value one. Similarly, console.log value two. Now when I press run, you can see that values of true and false are printed respectively. We can also verify the data type of these variables using the type of operator. I'll wrap value one and value two inside the type of operator and print them. So in this, I'll add console.log type of value one. Similarly, console.log type of value two. Now when I press run, in addition to true and false, I can see that the type of value one is Boolean and the type of value two is also Boolean. One thing you should remember is that true and false should not be used inside quotes because if we use quotes, they will be considered as strings and not Boolean. Let's see an example. I'll put quotes before and after true. And similarly, let me try the single quote before and after false. When I press run now, I can see the data type of value one and value two are string this time. Let me clean this code and get our original code back. So I'll remove this. And let me also remove these. Another thing we need to remember is that JavaScript is a case sensitive language and we cannot use true and false with capital T and F. Let me show you, let me replace this small t with capital T and this small false with capital F false. Now when I try to run the code, you can see that it says reference error true is not defined. This is because true with small t is different from true with a capital T. Now that we know about booleans, let's learn about comparison and logical operators. These operators are used to create expressions that result in boolean values. Let's start with comparison operators. First, I'll copy all the comparison operators in the code editor so that it's easier for us to see them in action. So I'll remove this old code and paste all the operators here. Now let's go through them one by one. Let's start with the greater than operator. The greater than operator checks if a value is greater than another value. Let's see an example. So I'll say console.log and then I can say eight greater than five. Here I'm comparing two values and simply printing them. I'm simply checking if eight is greater than five. Since eight is greater than five, the greater than operator in this case will return true. Let me run this code and see the output. And as expected, it returns true. Now let's change the value of eight to three and see what happens. So here I'll say three greater than five. And when I press run, this time I get false because three is not greater than five. Similarly, we can use the less than operator to check if a value is less than another value. In this code, I will now change the greater than sign to less than. So I can say three less than five. And this time when I press run, I get true because three is indeed less than five. And let me replace this three by five what do you think will be the result when I press run? You must have guessed it by now. When I press run, I get false because five is not less than five. Now let's see the greater than or equal to operator next. As the name suggests, the greater than or equal to operator returns true if a value is either greater than or equal to another value. Now let me change this less than five, less than five to five greater than equals five. Now when I press run, I get true because although five greater than five is true, five is equal to five and this is also included with the greater than or equal to sign. 
Similarly, we can also use the less than or equal to operator. Let me flip this operator to 5 less than equals 5. Again, although 5 is less than 5 is untrue, 5 is equal to 5. And when I press run, I get true this time as well. The equal to operator returns true if both the compared values are equal. I'll use the previous code and change the less than or equal to operator to the equal to operator. So here I can say equal 5 equal equals 5. Mind you, this is different from the assignment operator which is a single equal. So for the equality check, we use double equal instead of single equal. Here, since 5 is equal to 5, we should get true as the output. Let me verify and press run. And as expected, I get true. Let me change the value to 6. And this time you must have guessed the output by now when I press run, I get false. Now let's try something interesting. I'll change the number five to a string. So instead of six, I can say five. And now I'm comparing the string five to number five. Let's run the code. As you can see, we get true as output. This is because the equal to operator checks only the data and not the data type. Since both string 5 and number 5 has the data 5, the equal to operator returns true. Similarly, there is not equal to operator. It does exactly opposite of what equal to operator does. It checks if two values are not equal. Let me show you. I'll change the previous code and I'll say 5 not equals 5. Here, I'm using the not equal to operator to compare 5 with 5. Let's run the code. This time I get false because obviously 5 is equal to 5 and 5 not equals to 5 will obviously be false. Now let me change one of the values to 6 and when I press run, this time I get true because 6 is not equal to 5 is true. If you're enjoying this video, please also check out Programmers Pro where we provide tutorials along with quizzes and challenges which will help you practice and test your learning in real time. Also, the course includes projects to give you an awesome experience of how programming works in the real world. And for our YouTube subscribers, we are giving 50% off on the yearly plan. Sign up by scanning this QR code or use the link in the video description to claim your discount. In JavaScript, similar to equal operator, there's another operator called strict equal to operator. The strict equal to operator compares two values and their data types as well. So unlike the equal to operator, the strict equal to operator won't consider a string value and a numeric value equal even if they have the same data. Let me show you. In this code, before we saw that 5, string 5 equals equals 5 was true. But this time, let me put another equals to here, changing this to the strict equal to operator. Now when I press run, as you can see, the output is false. This is because the strict equal operator checks both the data and the data type while making the comparison. And here, although data 5 is the same, the data type of one is string and another is number. Hence, they are not strictly equal. Similarly, the strict not equal to operator also considers the data type while making the comparison. Let me change the strict equal to operator to strict not equals to operator. So here I can say five string 5 not equals equals 5. And when I press run, I get the opposite result which is true because obviously string 5 is not equal to number 5 when you consider the strict comparison. Till now we have used the comparison operators to compare two values. However, we can also use comparison operators to compare two variables. Let's see an example. I will create two variables number 1 with value 5. So let me remove this old code. I'll say const number 1 equals 5. And I'll create another variable number two with the value of nine. Now let me use a comparison operator with these variables. So I can say const result equals number one less than number two. Here I'm checking if number one is less than number two. Let me print the result and see what I get. So console.log result. When I press run, I get true because the value stored in number one, which is five, is less than the value stored in number two, which is nine. We can also compare a variable and a value. Let me change the code. I'll remove number two variable and directly compare the number one variable with nine. So let me remove this and I'll say number one 
less than 9. When I press run, I get the same output as before. These are all the comparison operators that are used in JavaScript. They all return a boolean value and the expression where they are used are called boolean expressions. In our previous example, the code number 1 less than 9 is a boolean expression. Boolean expressions are used to check a particular condition and perform actions based on the result of the condition. We will see how to use comparison operators and boolean values to check conditions using if-else in the next video. Now that we know about comparison operators, let's learn about logical operators. Logical operators are used with boolean expressions to perform logical operations. JavaScript has three logical operators and they are AND, OR and NOT. Let's copy them in our code editor and see how we can use them. Let's start with the AND operator. The AND operator returns true if both boolean expressions are true. Let's see an example. Let me create a variable age with value 18 and I'll create a height variable with value 5.5. Now let's try using the greater than or equal to operator for age and greater than operator for height. So I'll say let result equals age greater than equals 18 and height greater than 5. And now let me print the result variable. So I'll say console.log result. Here we have used two boolean expressions age greater than equals 18 and height greater than 5 and we have used the logical AND operator between them. So for the result variable to be true, both of these expressions need to be true. Since age is equal to 18, age greater than equals to 18 is true. Similarly, since height is greater than 5, this is also true. Hence the result of this AND will be true. Let me run this. And as expected, we get true as the output. Now let me change the code to make one of the expressions false. So I'll change height greater than 5 to height less than 5. And now when I press run, I get false because the second expression is false and the AND operator requires both expressions to be true for the result to be true. Okay guys, we need your support to keep this kind of content free for all users. YouTube really likes engagement on the video. So leave a comment below, press that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get the engagement score high up so that more people can discover and enjoy these courses. Now let's learn about logical OR operators. The OR operator returns true if one of the boolean expressions is true. Let's see an example. I'll use the previous code and change the AND operator to OR. You must have already guessed the output of this program. Let me run it and see if you guessed it correctly. I'll press run and you can see that I got true. This is because although the second half of the expression which is height less than 5 is false, age greater than equals to 18 is still true and for the OR operator to return true, any one of the expressions can be true. Unlike logical AND and logical OR, the logical NOT operator is used with only one boolean expression. It simply reverses the result. If the boolean expression is true, it returns false. And if the boolean expression is false, it returns true. Let's see an example. I'll remove this old code and I'll say const height equals 5.5. Now let me say const result equals height less than 6. Now I can say console.log result. And you must have guessed by now, this will be true. But let me put the not operator in front when I press run, instead of true, I get false because this expression is true, the value of result is true, but the not operator reverses that result and makes it false. Now let me change this expression by making this smaller than to greater than when I press run. This time I get true because this expression is false and the not operator again reverses that to true. Boolean expressions are the very foundations of programming. They are very useful in decision making and loops. They are used to check particular conditions and based on the conditions, we can make decisions in code. Suppose we want to check if a person is eligible to vote or not, then we can use a Boolean expression to check if the age of that person is greater than 18. If true, the person is eligible to vote, otherwise not eligible. So Boolean values and expressions are useful in programming. This covers the basics of the booleans, comparison and logical operators. We will learn to use them in creating decision making statements in the next video. 
Now that we have reached the end of this video, it's time for the programming quiz. Which of the following code returns true? Comment your answer below and if you want to revise these concepts, you can find all the programs in our GitHub repository. I'll put the link in the video description below. Happy programming!